In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the issue price of a bond. So the issue price is a function of two things. You've got the present value of the lump sum payment that's paid out when the bond matures, and then you have the present value of the interest payments that are made along the way. So if we think about, let's say you're an investor and you buy a $100,000 bond with a 4% rate of interest. So you're basically getting two things. You're getting a promise from the person who issued the bond to repay you $100,000 at some point in the future. But you're also getting interest along the way, right? Until that 100,000 is repaid, you're getting interest. And so we could take the present value of each of these things. We can take the present value of the 100,000 that you're gonna receive five years, 10 years, 15 years from now. And then we can also take the present value of that stream of interest payments that you're going to be receiving. Okay, so I've put here the formulas that we would go to calculate, for example, the present value of the lump sum payment. So in this case, it would be the $100,000. That would be the cash flow. You divide that by one plus the market rate of interest, and N is the number of periods, right? Now, for the present value of interest payments, I've also included the equation here, but let me work through an example where I use these equations, and it'll make it a little bit easier for you to understand. So let's pretend, let's talk about a firm called uh, Babu's Chocolate Factory. So Babu's Chocolate Factory issues $100,000 of five-year bonds. And when I say five-year bonds, I mean that that $100,000, uh, Babu's is going to have to repay that to the investors that buy the bonds five years from now. Now, until that point, uh, these bonds are going to pay interest annually, right? It, it's not always annually. It could be semi-annually. could be quarterly. But in this example, we're going to say that the interest is paid out annually, okay? So Babu, what they're doing is they're trying to raise money. And so they're saying, hey, look, if you will give us some money, we'll promise to pay you $100,000 five years from now, and we'll also pay interest at a rate of 7% a year, right? So 7% times 100,000, that's gonna be an interest payment of $7,000 a year, okay? So that's, that's what Babu is promising. Now, it just so happens that the market rate of interest at the time that Babu's Chocolate Factory issues these bonds happens to be 9%. So you might be thinking, hey, that's silly. Why doesn't Babu's, why don't they just ha have uh, pay interest at a rate of 9%? Well, it takes a while to get these bonds ready. There's a lot of paperwork and so forth. It could have been two months ago that Babu's put together this, this bond issuance and everything is saying 7%. And so there's just an easier way to do it. What they can do is they could say, okay, even though now the market rate of interest is 9% and so nobody would want to buy our bonds at 7%, what we can do is we can issue the bonds at a discount. And you'll, you'll see how that plays out uh, when we do our, our present value calculations. So I've just taken the formula. So with the cash flow here, that formula for the present value of the $100,000. So just take the $100,000 and we divide it by 1.09. And that's that one plus R up here. Again, we use the market rate of interest to discount the bond. Right? So we investors care about the market rate of interest. The only thing that we use this 7% for, which is, by the way, called the coupon rate of interest or the stated rate of interest. So I'll just put that. That's a stated rate. So we only use that to figure out the, the annual interest payment. We don't use it to do any of the discounting. Okay, So $100,000 divided by 1.09, and we raise that to the fifth power. That's the number of periods. That's that N. N is the number of periods, okay? And so it's five years, so there's five periods. So we take this, that's the present value of $100,000 five years from now from, uh, for receiving that. Then we take, we've got for the present value of the interest payments, a little more complicated. We take the annual interest payment, which is $7,000. So we take that 7,000. And then here, this equation here, I just I just plugged in this right here. So we've got we've got one, minus 1.09, again, I'm using the market rate of interest, not the stated rate, raised to the negative fifth power, because five periods, and then divide it by the market rate of interest, 0 0.09, okay? So I'll save you the trouble of doing the math. If you were to take this whole, this whole thing here, because you add them both together, right? We investor cares about the present value of the lump sum, that 100,000 they're gonna be receiving in five years. And they also care about the present value of the stream of interest payments of seven grand they're gonna be receiving every year, right? So if you add those together, 
you get 92,221. So what is that? This is the issue price of the bond. This is the issue price. Okay, so when an investor is going to potentially buy Babu's Chocolate Factory's bonds, they're not going to pay $100,000. I know it seems silly because you're thinking, well, hey, they're going to receive $100,000 five years from now, and they're going to get the, the interest, the 7%. So why wouldn't the investor just pay $100,000? Well, again, they're doing it because... By the time Babus gets around to issuing the bonds, the market rate of interest has gone up. Now it's 9%, and nobody's going to want to buy their bonds at, at, if they just pay 7% interest. So Babu says, okay, well, you know what? We would be willing to issue the bond at a discount. We would be willing to issue the bond at a discount. And so the investors are actually just paying cash of $92,221, and what they're getting in exchange is they're getting the right to get five years from now a hundred thousand dollars plus the seven thousand dollar a year uh, interest payments